Okay, so continuing with the theme from last class, last, last chapter, chapter 5. Chapter 5 is about doing calculations, and it's really all about like manipulating variables. Chapter 4, we create the variables. Chapter 5, we get to like calculate, and we notice some kind of complicated parts there, and we start doing uh, both modulo and then integer division. Um, chapter 6 is going to be something similar, but instead of using numbers, we're going to start talking about like manipulating strings. So strings are just a collection of, of words, or... Mm, but that's a little bit misleading I think because like strings can also be numbers like they can be they can include numbers like as we I think we talked about in an earlier video like technically a number can be a string but the problem is like 22 could be a string but the difference is like if 22 gets stored as a string that means that we can't manipulate it in a way like we can't add and subtract from it it's set as just it's almost like the word 22 like yeah so it can be a little bit of a challenging idea to begin with, especially if you're coming from Python or if you have previous practice in that. Uh, so combining strings. So this is the official word for it would be concatenation. And basically means that we are adding two things together. So I don't think that there's a ton of stuff that I really need to do in here to talk about. Uh, we add strings together just using the plus symbol. Um, we can add, so down here, this is kind of interesting. So combining uh, integers, um, yeah, so that's, that's kind of interesting, like, if we put parentheses around the integers, it's going to do the math for us, and then it's going to add it to the string, but if we don't, it'll just include this, uh, like, 2 plus 2 equals, and literally it's just adding the number 2 onto the string, and then adding the number 2 onto the end of the string, so we get this thing here. Um, yeah. Other than that, there's not too much here, um, or, if, you know, nothing too much crazy here. And it's just going to be, I think, in our exercise, it'll just be a little bit of combination of our, like, doing math with integers and then also, like, reproducing it through strings. So nothing too bad there.